Queens is among the most singularly diverse concentrations of people in the world, and our student body reflects this. I'm Brazilian and Lebanese. I'm Haitian. I am from Serbia. I'm Peruvian. I'm Italian and Trinidad. I'm Ecuadorian. I'm Guyanese. I'm Mexican and Portuguese. I'm Slovakian. I'm Dominican and Native American. I'm Ecuadorian. Hi, I'm Swedish. I'm Cuban and Ukrainian. I'm Ecuadorian. I am Italian, Colombian, Sicilian. I am from Belize. I'm Ecuadorian. I'm Bolivian and Cuban. I am German. I am Equamex, half Ecuadorian and half Mexican. I'm Montana. I am Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican and Peruvian. I'm Bolivian. I'm Paraguayan. I'm Filipino and Italian. I'm Puerto Rican. We're twins and the Lebanese. I'm Ecuadorian. I'm Irish. I'm Jamaican. I'm Colombian. Somos Dominicanos. I'm Jamaican. I'm Japanese, Korean, Chinese. I'm Italian. I'm Polish. Colombian, I'm Bolivian, I'm Peruvian. I'm Polish. I'm Puerto Rican and Guyanese. I'm Peruvian, Colombian. I'm Panamanian and Salvadorian. I'm Filipino. Filipino. I'm Polish. I'm Ecuadorian. Chinese. I'm from Argentina and El Salvador. I am Mexican. In addition to the factors inherent in an economically and racially diverse urban center, the population is largely composed of first and second generation immigrants, with a significant proportion of the students living in bi or multilingual households. For our students, code switching and code meshing are a way of life. Nonetheless, it remains the duty of a college preparatory school to develop a mastery of standard written English. And the papers we see in the writing center are a testament to the fact that this is no light duty. School, for much of our student body, is the only context where standard written English is required. For many students, it is the only place where it is even encountered. For this reason, the work of even the brightest students is littered with errors. Like most writing centers, we have had to resist falling into the role of mere editors. Like most writing centers developed in the spirit of the CCCC resolution, we have sought instead to help students work through their process of writing, help them develop their ideas from the ground up and in their own voice. Often, in our case, this means digging past linguistic barriers, helping students with imperfect English overcome the alienation academic standard written English so often imposes, helping them to better articulate whatever the form, that idea or feeling they want to express. The effort to provide an inclusive writing environment has borne fruit. Over the last few years, we have endeavored in our work to encourage the exploration of less alienating forms of expression, particularly multimedia and multimodal composition. Scary, but luckily I was able to get on an emergency raft. But I wasn't the only one there. Along with me came an hyena, an orangutan, and a zebra. Their tears are filling up their we have also sought to convey to teachers and students the value of using more accessible modes of informal communication as a means of highlighting elements common to formal communication, such as tone, point of view, and voice. Inclusiveness has helped us to more fully explore students' life worlds and help them develop their voices. Yet, this openness cannot mask a difficult reality keenly felt in this population of urban youth and recent immigrants, that their progress and future opportunities are linked very definitely to their ability to master that other alienating and almost foreign language, standard written English. Most students recognize how their use or misuse of English will open or close a door in their lives. Many parents endeavor to limit their children's use of a native tongue at home, hoping to ensure that the de development of standard written English is unimpeded, their child's English unmarred. For many, see the value of education, not in abstract quote questions of authentic voice and expression, but in practical questions of real progress and future prosperity.